Hi guys, welcome to the video and today I want to talk about lactic acid and if you're a hard-working training athlete then you know all about it. I know I do in my time as a 400 meter athlete, the training sessions that we did at the, and possibly at the end of races I'd be hit by the by lactic acid so much and it would take possibly in some training sessions take me 10 minutes after the session for me to recover from it. So if you're a hard-working athlete you train hard you know all about lactic acid but there's little information there's not a lot of information on how to deal with it. And if there is information how to deal with it, we're told specifically by coaches and the fitness industry to train through it, work harder, which is not right. The idea about lactic acid, you need to actually treat lactic acid as a friend. And what I'll go into that a little bit later, but when you actually, the normal philosophy is to actually train and work harder as soon as lactic acid hits. We tighten up in the jaw. We start to swing our shoulders as we come down the home straight. And I, I use athletics as, as, a, as a kind of example because I'm an athlete myself. But consider this, when you actually see a, a lot of professional athletes, a lot of athletes in major championships, when they come down the home straight of 100, uh, 400 meters, they're tightening up, their shoulders are swinging. And that's lactic acid getting a hold of it and they're not dealing with it well enough. So... When you're tightening up in that jaw up there, that's wasted energy from first and foremost. And we know in athletics and sprinting and whatever thing you do that tightening up is not good for you. Your stride length is compromised. You're going to slow down quicker. And you're going to be putting in effort in areas that don't really need to be put in effort. So what happens is a lot of people tighten up in the jaw. You're not using your jaw when you run. So why are you actually tightening up in that area? And it's a mental approach that we come across. Now, one of the great examples of actually relaxation, how to deal with lactic acid in, the, in, a, in a race is Christine Hurugu in the 2008 Beijing Olympics in the final, when she actually came from about fifth or sixth and she came through to win in the last, let's say about 80, 80 meters of the race. And she came through and she came through and came through. And the, the fact is what we saw, saw head on, is sure, as she moved through the field, she wasn't working harder than the rest. She was working less than the rest, but she had, her face was completely serene. And that's a good kind of lesson in terms of how we deal with where we are, not panicking and just relaxing into it and allowing the, she probably feeling the lactic acid in the last 100 meters, but she didn't panic. She didn't tighten up. She didn't do anything. She allowed the rest of the field to come towards her, come back to her. And she pipped Richard Ross at the, uh, 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 at the line. And that's a great example that, of how to deal with lactic acid down the home straight. Now, well, a lot of people would actually say, well, she didn't, her uh, pace judgment was just better than all the rest. And that's fine, but the, you know, you're know, you missing the point of the fact that when she came into the final straight in fifth or sixth place, well down on the field, she didn't work harder. A lot of people would have, I think, would have thought, oh, I've got to work harder, I've got to run harder, I've got to run harder. She didn't. She stayed completely the same, had confidence in the pace that everybody would come back to her, and it happened like that. So she didn't tighten up at the end of the race that normal athletes would do. This is a great thing. I said earlier that you need to make lactic acid your friend, and um, that means if you make it friend, don't fight lactic acid. If you're tightening up and trying to tighten up, fight through it and try harder when lactic acid hits, you're, there's only going to be one winner, and that is lactic acid, and you're going to slow down quicker. Your stride length is going to be compromised. Whereas if you relax more, it's a mental approach of just relaxing when you, it, it, then lactic acid comes. You accept it's there and you just keep the arms moving, as it were. Keep yourself moving forward and putting in less and less effort. And once you'll find as you do that, that people start to break the break first and they start to, you start to pull away from them or you start to catch them up in the home straight over 400. The main thing is, don't fight lactic acid. There's only one where lactic acid will win and you'll slow down quicker. Keep relaxed. Keep your jaw relaxed. Don't panic when you come down the home straight and keep yourself moving forward. Now, I trust that video helps and gives you a different perspective about lactic acid and how to deal with it at the end of a race. If you like the video, please like it. If you could share it, I really would appreciate it. And if you've got any comments, please leave them below. And of course, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be carrying out with bringing out more information about topics to make you a better athlete, make you a stronger athlete. And as always, thanks for watching.